Okay, um, what I want to uh, show you is uh, one of our Spectre land-based systems. Uh, this happens to be our LB4000, uh, which we consider primarily a high salinity brackish machine. We built this uh, uh, in the same configuration. We built two other machines, a 2800 gallon a day machine and an 1800 gallon a day machine. Um, this system uses our proprietary Pearson pump which uh, is a uh, hybrid um, piston plunger pump and it has integrated energy recovery in it and that means that it takes the, uh, the flow from the brine stream or the concentrate stream and recovers the energy so that it makes the system extremely efficient. Um, our systems are almost as efficient as a municipal level desalinization plant. So this is the Pearson pump here. It's the heart of our device, heart of our system. Uh, it has a standard uh, crankcase type reciprocating mechanism. Here you see there's an oil filtration system. And this, syst and this pump is being belt driven by a DC motor. This system is designed to be used for a solar application. This particular unit is designed to be used for a solar application. So this is a 48 volt DC unit. We build this unit also in 24 volt DC, and we have um, uh, 110 and 220 versions available also. Um, so you can see, uh, as I mentioned, the 4,000 gallon a day system it uses four 40 inch membranes. You can see the membranes are down at the bottom here. This is uh, our pressure vessel that we build ourselves. It's very robust, uses PVC end caps. Um, the uh, pre-filtration is uh, pretty substantial. As you can see, these are large, uh, high-capacity filters, and there are two in parallel, two 5 micron in parallel, and two 20 micron in parallel. So we have a considerable amount of filtration capability here. Um, this is a carbon filter or an activated charcoal filter, which um, is used as post-treatment, and it takes any any odor or any taste out of the product water itself. Behind uh, the carbon filter, you can see there's a tank located here. This is used as a freshwater flush tank, so during the first uh, few minutes of operation, this tank gets filled with clean, potable water, and it stands by and is available to do a freshwater flush at the end of every run cycle, which is what we recommend. Uh, this is the control box here. This, is, this contains our, um, our motor controller here, which allows us to control the speed of the DC motor. And if you want to come around to the front, you can see that we have uh, our microprocessor control, and uh, we have a main circuit breaker here. We'll be running this system a little bit later, and we'll be able to show you the functions of this microprocessor control. Uh, but it, it monitors and controls all the uh, features and functions of the system. You can monitor product flow, uh, all the pressures. You can monitor the conditions of the filtration. Uh, it, it records, um, has an hour meter, records operational hours. Um, and, and it acts as a safety device, so if there's any kind of a um, uh, a fault in the system, it'll shut the system down immediately and protect all the components. On the front panel, we have our I.O., so we have water in, water out, and product water out, and we also incorporate uh, three-way service valves in the front of the panel, which can be accessed through these ports here. We believe that it makes sense to build this into the system to make it easy to maintain and, and um, uh, clean the system if, if need be. Uh, let's move back around here, Sam, and you'll see um, this particular system has a post-chlorine post-treatment um, built into it. So this tank will hold a concentrated chlorine uh, solution, and we have a metering pump here that will meter the water into the product flow as it exits the machine. Um, I think that pretty much covers most of the major features of the system. This system also has a diversion valve uh, that's controlled by our microprocessor control. 
And uh, that means that when the product water, when the f machine first starts up and the product water is not of an acceptable quality, it gets diverted and gets uh, rejected from the machine. And as soon as the water gets to be good potable water, then it gets diverted into, into the tank.